Bivariate data relationships. When interpreting bivariate scatter plots, we often talk about variables having or not having a relationship. And in the images below, I've got two scatter plots that we did in a previous lesson. And both of these scatter plots showed a relationship between the two variables. The first graph showed a relationship between height and arm span. And we could see this relationship because the dots formed kind of a pattern that followed this red line here. In the second graph, we also noticed a relationship again, except that this time the relationship was non-linear. It was more of a curve than a straight line. Now, when you complete problems from the textbook, they're not always going to use this word relationship. Sometimes they use the words such as correlation or association they all mean the same thing. They're all talking about the relationship between two variables or the association or correlation between two variables. The first thing we're going to talk about is what is known as the strength of the relationship or the strength of the association. Remembering that relationship and association mean the same thing. Let's look at a scatter plot that has a strong relationship or a strong association. We mentioned earlier that sometimes we have a line of best fit, like so. And height and arm span have a strong correlation because when we have our scatter plot, all the points will be really close to the line. They will follow this pattern quite well. None of the points deviate far from this line that we've drawn. When we get into our moderate and weak relationships, that's where we start seeing things deviate far from that line. So looking at our moderate relationship, if we're comparing a husband's age to his wife's age, you'll have some people that follow the trend quite nicely. And this is because there's not a big age difference between the husband and wife. But we know that there's always relationships where the wife is quite a bit older than the husband or maybe the husband's quite a bit older than the wife. And so we start getting points that veer off a bit more from the trend. And we say that this has a moderate relationship or a moderate association. Let's now look at something with a weak relationship. Here's our line of best fit. and We're comparing the size of land to the sale price. So obviously as the size of the land increases, the sale price usually increases with it. So you're going to get your points that follow the trend quite nicely. But we're also going to get some that veer away from this. For instance, sometimes you have a small block of land with a really nice house. So it becomes quite expensive, even though it's a small block of land. And then you also might get large blocks of land that are quite cheap. And that might be because it's in flood zone for example. So we see that our weak relationship has points that veer off quite a bit from our line of best fit. Finally, we have something that has no relationship. And here's an example because if we compare a person's height with a person's IQ or how smart that person is, there's no relationship here. Just because you're taller doesn't mean you're smarter. It also doesn't mean you're dumber. Just because you're shorter doesn't necessarily mean you're smarter or dumber too. And when you do these ones, you cannot draw a line of best fit. And the points are all over the place, like so. And you can see by looking at it that there's just no way that you can draw a line of best fit here. Does it go this way? Does it go this way? It can't. There is no relationship. The next thing we're going to look at is called the form of the relationship or the form of the association. So we have what's called linear form and nonlinear form. So we're going to compare a person's age to their life expectancy. The younger a person is, the longer their life expectancy will be, meaning they've got more years of life left in them. So this one will look something like this, where as they get older, the life expectancy decreases. For this one, when I draw a line of best fit, we can see it coming downwards. 
it's also linear because linear basically means that it's a straight line. Okay, so when we have our nonlinear form, this is where we have our curves. So an example of this might be the number of employees that a company has versus the company profits. So if you've got hardly any employees, you're not going to make much profit. And as you increase the number of employees that you have, your profits start going up. But there comes a point where, you're, where you have too many employees and the, the costs of having these employees drag down the company profits like so. So we get this parabolic curve shape and I'm just going to do a rough sketch of this one. So basically whenever you're asked about the form of the relationship, if it's a straight line you say it's a linear form, if it's not you just say that it's a non-linear form. Finally we want to talk about the direction of the relationship or the direction of the association. And when things go up, for instance, as your height goes up, your arm span goes up as well, this is referred to as being a positive relationship because it's going upwards. Whereas on the right, it's coming downwards. This is a negative relationship. As a person's age increases, the life expectancy comes down. Anyway, that concludes our video on bivariate data relationships. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.